People think it all started with the Earth Buddy, a nylon stocking stuffed with sawdust that sprouted grass, which looked like hair. But the Spin Master story goes so much deeper. I was eight years old when I met Renan for the first time in the woods of Halliburton, Ontario at Camp Northland. Renan became my best friend. Going into business with Renan was the best business decision I ever made. I, I met Benny, Benny and I met at business school. And you know, Benny, his marks were better than mine. <laughs> you know, it's uh, hard to believe I know. He had the best cheat notes of anyone of class 94. In inviting Ben to join Spin Master was a no-brainer. I hit the partner jackpot. These two guys, they exude ethics and integrity, traits people think get in the way of successful business, but are in fact in essential to it. When people, when people look at Spin Master, they see things like Hatchimals, Bakugan, Tokoboka, Paw Patrol. I, I see what's behind all those things. I see our people, our truly remarkable people. And it began with the three of us. Benny, you've got the gift, which some business people call blue sky ideation. But that doesn't really capture it. Benny, when it comes to new products and creating new products, you don't bow to convention, you destroy it. Benny, you made the toy industry wake up and care deeply about inventors. People say, people say Renan has vision, but it's deeper than that. You have a wisdom, a real wisdom. You peer deeply into the world. You see things that others are blind to. I cried when I found out I was being inducted into the Toy Industry Hall of Fame. How the hell did we go from summer camp to business school to joining the likes of George Lucas from Star Wars, the Hassenfelts, and many other greats? Mom and Dad, <laughs> you, sacri you sacrificed everything to leave South Africa with your young family to make a home in Canada. Since the day we set foot in Toronto in 1977, you've never left my side. And, and my brothers Lawrence and Darren, are all, they're all with us here tonight. Alana, you, you are my anchor. I don't know where I would be without you, but I know it wouldn't be here now in this room. And girls, Carly, Sammy, and Lexi, oh my God, you three are by far, by far my life's crowning achievement. <laughs> Spin Master is also my family. The company may have started with three friends, but everything the company has become, everything it has brought to the world, the toys, the digital games, the stories, the stories that have become global cultural franchises, is all because of our people. All of you, my, my happiest moments at Spin Master have been helping the people I work with and love becoming the best versions of themselves. All of you have in turn helped me be the best version of myself. I look back across the span of decades and see a never ending process of improvement. Always questioning, how did it go? What did you sense? Did the strategy work? 
What did we get right? What did we get wrong? You help me learn the most important lesson of them all. Not just how to fail, but how to fail well. T to fail quickly and with purpose. The misses are more important than the hits. Thank thanks to Spin Master's new great leaders like Max Rangel, I'm still learning so much. Thanks, Max, and to our new leaders. I love this industry. It's a funny thing. This industry of ours that makes toys and games is itself a game. 30 years in, I think maybe I'm finally beginning to figure it out. And I have never been more excited to play. As I look ahead to the next 30 years, I leave you with one final thought. Spin Master is just getting started! Anton is in prime form tonight. He wanted to go last, but he actually went first. Um, I want to thank the Toy Industry Hall of Fame for the special recognition. And I just want to share a moment when I got the call from Joel Berger and from Jay Foreman. I got the call from Jay Foreman and Joel Berger letting us know about this incredible recognition. And for me, it was just like time stopped, time slowed down. It was just like 30 years worth of work. It just went shh. And it was like time just, just got bent. And um, it was just a special moment for me. Um, First, I want to thank my two partners, Anton, for his tenacity and fearlessness, and Ben, for your sharp wit and your incredible humor. You both round me out and make me a better person and entrepreneur. Thanks for sticking it out on the journey. Thanks for partnering with me on this life's work. And thanks for helping me paint my canvas. I honestly believe that the three of us are only here, Spin Master is only here because of everyone in the industry who came before us. We stand on the shoulders of giants. So many of you sitting in this room. I'm more than a little awestruck to be included in the Hall of Fame and be in your company. With the benefit of almost 30 years of perspective, I realize more and more that we've been shaped by the industry in which we work and play. In that time, it's been our great privilege to connect with the hearts and minds of kids around the world and to give the industry some exciting new shape as well. Originality, the creation of a new idea, is everything in this business. We firmly believe that at Spin Master. In fact, we have a saying we codified in a book, The Spin Master Way. History never recorded an act of stunning sameness. But I want to stress something. Ours is an iterative kind of originality. Anything we invented would not have been possible without the imaginations of all who preceded us. New toys, games, and play patterns inspire the next generation of, of toys, games, and play patterns. And so it is with all creative pursuits. When we started up, there were so many companies and individuals to learn from. A hundred years of toy history. And then, so many magical inventors who opened themselves to us to license their ideas. So many retailers who would generously give us their feedback on the smallest details. It was a metaphorical playground, vibrant, noisy, in the best possible way, full of curiosity, excitement, and inspiration. You invited the three of us into your playground straight away, gave us the anatomically correct nickname, The Boys, Never did we feel not welcome or supported. People seemed genuinely excited about our enthusiasm and they shared their knowledge. I'm like a stickler for 
quiet. I can't even think when there's a noise out there. <laughs> um, never did we not feel welcome or supportive. People seemed genuinely excited about our enthusiasm and they shared their knowledge. Imagine what that felt like. Three guys just out of university collaborating and partnering with the best minds in the business. At first, I believe that the way, we, the way we partnered and collaborated and the curiosity and drive that underpinned it was something that we owned, our unique DNA at Spin Master. But now, with the wisdom of a much older dude with a graying man bun, I realize this kind of partnership and collaboration is not some special province of Spin Master. It's native to the magical industry in which we all belong. We're a creative business that requires the collective of many dreamers to conceive and bring a special toy to market. And all of us, with our imaginations of the hyperactive seven-year-old, have a place in this playground. I think the way Bakugan came to life sums it up perfectly. The core idea, an action figure residing inside a marble, sketched in a piece of paper by a 23-year-old first-time inventor, and then repped by a 50-year-old toy inventor, is licensed and developed to Spin Master then we pitch it to a Japanese company whose decision maker speaks not a stitch of English. He loves it. We partner and push the idea further. The magical pop open transformation and card play element gets added. We conceive an animated show together and we sell it to the Cartoon Network and Bakugan just takes off. It becomes a global phenomenon and multimedia sensation. You can't make up a story like this. It's the magic of what we all do. Everything is possible. Every idea can be a kernel of magical play. Everybody is here to play their part to bring the magic to market. And you can't make up a journey or a partnership like the one I've had with Anton and Ben. I'm so grateful to you both. We have another saying in our book on the Spin Master way. Actually, it's on the cover. Imagination makes more than toys and games. Imagination makes history. I want to thank everyone who's ever worked with us as Spin Master and the industry that continues to fire our imaginations to this day. Together, we've all made a little history. Hello, hello, oh my God, it's so overwhelming. There's so many people. It's very, isn't it overwhelming, guys? There's so many people here. I know many of you know me as a, if, if you know me, you know I'm a shy guy. And, and so speaking in public makes me very, very nervous. And I was, I was very nervous about coming into this week. But you know what doesn't make me nervous? Singing in front of a large crowd. <laughs> if only I, I if only I had a ukulele on me or something. Jimmy, Jimmy, did you bring your ukulele with you? You did? Come on up here. Come up, man, come up. Oh my God. I got, I got so lucky, Jimmy. That's so nice. Oh, how lucky could I have gotten today? This is my lucky day, Jimmy. Why, you just happened to bring it to the event? That's amazing. Come on up, Jimmy. So good to see you. So good to see you. Can you? Can you give me a bouncy C? Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, it's so great to be among the folks that helped us get our start. It's been a wondrous journey, all the friends along the way. It fills me full of nachis on this very special day. Jimmy, do you know what nachis is? It's a Yiddish word. It means like a really warm feeling inside. I must confess, the Hall of Fame has been a dream. Imagine what an honor to be held in such esteem. It was 30 years ago when I first walked into the hall and marveled at the faces that were hanging on the wall. 
names like Henson and Fisher and Thomas Kalinske and Loomis and Bradley and Handler and Disney and Breslow Morrison Terzi in and Ole Kirk Christiansen and Hassenfeld and Hassenfeld and Hassenfeld and Ammerman. Timmy, there are a lot of Hassenfelds in the Toy Hall of Fame. You know, they're a very important toy family. When I was young, I never really knew that making toys was even a profession you could do. But seeing all those luminaries, legends, everyone, I never dreamt it possible a job could be so fun. But then there's costing and tooling and safety and margin and careful, there's value for what you'll be charging and knockoffs and lawyers, these things they don't tell you, like clearance and closeouts from lackluster sell-through. Timmy, 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 do you know what a closeout is? It's not good. It's bad, it means you've sold too much and they have to lower the price. It's terrible. But in the end, there's still no greater joy than the feeling that you feel when you see a magic toy. And sure, the hits are sometimes maybe few and far between. I look back at my career and the adventure that it's been. I'm so grateful for such an awesome ride. So I'd like to thank my partners here for standing by my side. All our friends and family, the great folks at the company, It's really such a joy to me. Thank God for this industry.